Well, I'm in the Cimarron Middle Fork today. Um, goal is to hike up to that Middle Fork Pass, 5.6 miles. It's a pretty flat trail, should be pretty easy. So far, it's a gorgeous day. It is uh, August the 13th, 2016. Well, made it up to the end of the um, Middle Fork here. The big blocky peak on the right, right is uh, Red Cliff. It's got a cliff on the other side that's kind of reddish in color. That's up the West Fork of the Cimarron River. Right dead center, that knife-like peak is Coxcomb Peak. Both Red Cliff and Coxcomb are 13ers. And you can kind of see the trail zigzagging right up that green flat there, right below Coxcomb. I think that's where we're headed. And we're going around. And the pass is right over there. That's where we're headed. I've been up over a pass over here on around to the left of these peaks right here up over into the East Fork of the Cimarron and then on up the East Fork to the foot of Wetterhorn Peak it's a 14er. Anyway got a little ways to go better get going. Right over there is the pass that I went up and over when I went to um, the East Fork up under Wetterhorn Peak. Just going to pan around here back down the valley really easy trail getting up here. It's a lot of switchbacks, but makes the elevation gain really simple. That's where we came from. Well, I decided to stop up here on the last little bench before the pass. Eat some lunch. That knobby peak off over there is Wetterhorn Peak. It's a 14er. 
I'm not sure what these peaks are called right across the dip from me. Maybe I'll look them up and put a caption in the video of what they are, because I know it's got a name, that peak over there. And there's Coxcomb, and the pass that I'm headed for is right over there. I'll head over there after lunch if the clouds don't build up too much. Well, I made it to the pass, and stopped there, did a time lapse, and I decided to come over here <coughs> to the southeast. Big peak in the background, Duncan Pogri Peak. It's the highest peak in the San Juans. And then you can just see Wetterhorn sticking up there. Back down in the bottom there is Wetterhorn Basin. like when that big donie came down off the mountain. I bet it shook the ground. I'm sure it hadn't always been there. It didn't just appear down here on the flat. It rolled down off a red cliff up there. I'd like to have seen that. Not right here of course. get too far down the trail I wanted to give a shout out to a fellow hiker up in Montana his uh, trail hun trail handle is Woods Runner and they've got a nice channel I'll put a link to it down down below he's a hiking fool like I am but more than that he's a he's a real woodsman and uh, we're of the same vintage, we just get better with age.